What's going on guys? In today's video, I have 10 progression infield drills that you can do by yourself at home. So let's get right into the video. Now, before we get into the drills, I wanna quickly go over the field and mechanics. Okay, so ground ball's hit. We're gonna come around the ground ball, creating momentum towards first base. Okay, so hit, we're gonna come around. We're gonna plant this right foot followed by this left foot. And as we pick up the ground ball, that's when our foot's gonna go down to the ground like that. Work on that timing. We'll bring the ball in to our body. Right foot's gonna go to our left foot. Our left foot's gonna go to our target. Our hips, our feet, and our shoulder are gonna be facing our target like that. Ball up by the ear. Okay, so that's the fielding mechanics. So it looks like this. Coming around, right foot, left foot, bring it into our body. Right foot to left foot, throw it. So for the first progression of the drill, we can either do it from our knees or standing up. We're just gonna grab a baseball and we're gonna work on short hops coming through the ball like that. Okay, so we're just gonna drop the ball, pick it up on the short hop, staying nice and short through the ball. Okay, we don't wanna swipe it like that, just nice and short. Once we do that, we can go to backhands. And we can go back and forth. Really focus on not swiping and being long with it. Just nice and short and through. So for the next progression, it's gonna be the same thing, but we're gonna grab our glove. Again, we can either do it from our knees or standing up. And we're just gonna stay nice and short through the ball. Now for the next progression of the drill, we're gonna find a brick wall and we're gonna start off with no glove. And again, we can start off on our knees or on our feet, but we're just gonna bounce it off the wall and pick it up on the short hop coming through the ball. Then you can work on some backhands. Next progression is gonna be the same thing, but with our glove. Then you can work on some backhands. Make sure when you're doing these drills that you stay nice and short through the ball. Okay, again, we don't wanna swipe like that. Okay, just nice and short. Next progression, we're gonna grab a pancake glove. And if you don't have one of these, I'll link them below. We're just gonna bounce it off the wall, pick it up on a short hop, coming through the ball like that. So for the next progression, we're gonna set up four cones in a square like this, and we're gonna work on transitioning from the fielding position to the throwing position, going around the box. Okay, so we're gonna get in the fielding position, nice and wide, our butt is back, our back is flat, the glove is out in front of our body, not underneath it, out front. And we're just gonna work on transitioning, right foot to left foot, left foot towards our target. Okay, so it looks like this. Bring it in, right foot to left foot, left foot towards our target. Then we're going to reset facing this way. We're just going to go around the box. So for the next progression, we're going to work on the timing of when we pick up the ground ball and then when our foot hits the ground. Okay, so we're going to get nice and wide in our fielding position. We're going to lift this heel off the ground. And as we pick up this ground ball, we're going to plant that foot. So it looks like this. Into the throwing position. Okay, so again, nice and wide foot off the ground, bring it in like that. So for the next progression of the drill, we're gonna work on the short hop and then transitioning from the fielding position to the throwing position. Okay, so again, we're gonna get nice and low. We're gonna drop the ball, pick it up on the short hop, right foot to left foot, left foot towards our target. So it looks like this. Reset. and then work backhands. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you found value in the video, please hit that like button below. It really helps to grow the channel and I appreciate it so much. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss out and I'll see you guys next week. Then you can work on some backhands. Then you can work on some backhands. Then you can work on some backhands.